Hello, my name is Hwang Yeon. I am a leader of the Hanjp project, and I'm currently working for the mentoring program called Contribution Academy nowadays. Today, I, I, am, I am introducing what is the Hanjp, the history of the project, why are we doing this project? And a little bit about technicals. So, what is the HANJP? The HANJP is the is a Japanese input method which enables typing. Uh, which, which enables typing Japanese Japanese string as as the Korean Hangul. Hangul is the Korean alphabet. Koreans will write sentences as Hangul. The theory of Hangul representation for other languages is not a new idea. This idea is is rather rather natural to Koreans. Especially the Japanese kind of string representation in Hangul is pretty intuitive. Some some of the some of the apps, especially in web services, supports Hangul to kind of a string conversion. However, Surprisingly, surprisingly, I noticed it. I noticed it. There is no input method that enables all, us to write Japanese as a Hangul for many apps. I I have valued this this theory as as it could be very useful in Japanese IME. And it seemed fun. The, the Japanese experience uh, in HanJP is, is similar to Hangul typing, but it actually produces Japanese string. I, I, I have an example. If we want to type, History to some apps in some apps in, in Hiragana. We type history just like we are typing a uh, handle. However, in the typing in the typing process, the engine converts handle pre pre stream to kind of pre stream in three times. Then finally, it commits the Hiragana string to the app. I prepared the, the demo video. Let me show you. So that's the HANJP. I believe the HANJP project is simple, convenient, and fun. However, I also reckon the fundamental idea in HANJP could, couldn't make a huge improvement for Japanese typing. It is just an option finally. However, I started this project, this project, because I wanted to understand understand Linux application development, and I also 
wanted wanted to be involved involved <laughs> to be involved in open source. Mm. Then I thought it is a fit project to study Linux app development because the fundamental idea in Hanzhen AP is not super complicated. Then what is the value of Hanzhen AP finally? I, val I value the, <laughs> this, this project as an entry point for Korean open source newcomers. Because, because I had many difficulties in involving open source contributions and still I have. So I, I wanted to have another open source, open source newcomers. And I believe Hansip could be a good entry point for open source newcomers. Because Hansip is, is based, based on Linux, Linux commonly used technologies. Still, it, it is not super complex, super complex to understand. For now, <clears throat> for now, let me talk about our our history. I gathered I gathered project members in 2017. Then I could get four members. Youngbin was the Youngbin was one of the members, and he he was he was the leader of Ubuntu local team. Talking with him, we thought it can improve Linux usability. So we decided so we decided to host a project on Ubuntu local team. And we started we started to the project in only 2018. Before, before we got start, started, I thought that we could achieve our goal easily, although we didn't know much about Linux IME background knowledge. Because the fundamental idea in HanJP is quite simple and its implementation for Conversion logic is not also super, super complicated. However, it, it was rather a journey. There's a lot of knowledge under Linux IME, such as Unicode encoding, build systems, get text, and GD. And the knowledge is required for engine implementations. Furthermore, there, there were a lack of documents and easily understandable ones were even few. So I had many difficulties in managing, managing the team. As time went by, the team members left one by one. Then even Youngbin, the last member who worked with me, has has left for his military his military military service. However, since I ha have have this responsibility for this project, I restarted the, I restarted the project alone. I read the, I read the, I was a Hangul engine and the Hangul code repeatedly. 
in this process, I have studied many kinds of subjects, such as auto tool set, auto tool set, CMake, iBoss, and GD. Then, I finally made an executable version of HanJP. The demo video we, we pre previously watched it, to, watched it together was this version. Then, I, I appreciate the support given by some people. First, thank you for sharing the working room, Gyeongsen. Youngbin, in, 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 Youngbin is introduced, to, introduced him to me, and he kind of, he candidly shared the working room for JP. Thank you for your support, Gyeongsun. Then, thank you for organizing support, Yongbin. He organized many kinds of his stories and he studied a lot of Linux development on two subjects with me. The, the executable version of HanJP based on these kinds of efforts, efforts. Thank you, thank you, Youngbin. They patiently endured a lot out of my mistakes for sure. 조병수님, 한영민님, 정말 감사합니다. And I also appreciate other contributions made by a lot of a lot of people. Anyway, making a executable version is a very hopeful achievement. However, we are hardly refining the engine nowadays because this version is in, insufficient for sta stable release. In that state, the project was uh, not joinable to other people. As I said, as I said pre previously, we, we are we are re refining the project in an academic program called the Contribution Academy. The Contribution Academy is a mentoring program for Korean open source newcomers. For two months. Mentees study about how they can contribute to, to open source uh, in, specific, in specific project. Even though our project is perfectly ready for contributors, I joined the program as, as a mentor because I thought that, I thought that now I can share the knowledge that is useful for that is useful for this IME development. So it's been about three weeks. In, in the first, I share I share the the basics such as. WSL fundamentals of OOP and a little of CMAC before we dive into implementation. And now, our subjects are G object and CMAC. Studying CMAC and G object, we are re redesigning. Refund JP, the, the subroutine for Han JP engine. I had sketched the ba basic design on, on G object, and I left uh, almost uh, all member 
all member functions as blank for mentees. Our ambitious goal in this program is sta stable release for 100 p. It's it's not it's not it's uh, it's not going super well, but but I think this flow is still hopeful. I think we can still release the stable. We we have an um, online online meeting periodically, and this is this is the picture taken at our online meeting. Anyway, let's talk about some technical things. We are we are commonly commonly using glib and gobject in this project one of uh, our main goals is to implement the 100p uh, i was 100p engine in the engine it depends on lib kkc for kanji conversion then by by implementing the NGP engine, we also produce commonly commonly usable Han Hangul Kana string pretty logics. We call it as Leap NGP. The Leap NGP can be portable to many many targets, including including Windows, Mac, even for Microcontroller, microcontrollers, microcontrollers, thanks to the nature of its own code and dependencies. However, currently our CMake building di directing code can only build on uh, Linux systems, even though CMake supports cross platform making it possible to build, build on other environments is also one of our main goals. <clears throat> Let's go a little deeper into Leave Hanji P. The, the main the main entry point for Lib Hanji AP is input context. It, it binds ASCII code to ASCII code to Hangul Chaso in keyboard keyboard ob object and push the taken Chaso into automata and Automata works for pre-editing, including Hangul to Kana conversion. Then, in the Hanji project, I learned pluggable design is very important. A pluggable design make it pos make, makes it possible to switch subroutines in one time. For example, we can switch in automata logic in runtime by switching of uh, automata instance. Because the interface is the same in any automata, we can do it easily. Furthermore, we can easily change the dependencies that we like for implementation implementation thanks to the interface then we are supporting dynamic custom dynamic custom automata res registration hmm. i st 
strongly believe that automata under the Hanja API shouldn't be shouldn't be determined determinated because Hanja API is more close to experimental or uh, open that means a better or different types of automatic idea can always suggest suggested by the users. And their implementations should be allowed by the pluggable custom, pluggable custom for most, most swift usability experiments and for fun. <laughs> Now, now, now I talk, talk, talking about uh, the used languages. Originally, we decided we decided to write the code in in C rather than C plus plus C plus plus. Since since I was the uh, API is written in C. I thought there, there, there's a risk for working on C++. However, I have noticed it, I, I have noticed it, that the Hanja API should be designed under OOP. In C style, it was less, less uh, readable. Plus, I found that she she can cause code fragmentations because of because of its language natures. The the C standard is really tiny. It doesn't support fundamental data structures such as linked list, dictionary, and so on. Naturally. There will be many implementation for all these fundamentals. Finally, it could be it could cause painful code reinventions and int integrations. Jiri can be a one of the solutions, but I thought I thought that Jiri is very difficult to, to use. Anyway. C++ provides a much bigger standard. So I think C++, C++ code is much more readable than C. Plus, the calling of, of C subroutines in C++, C++ main routine is easy. So I thought migrating the code base to C++ wasn't cause problems. However, we are returning to C. There are several reasons. First, I couldn't find the design the design the engine with the G object in C++. For the for the IBUS engine, we should design the engine on G object, but it couldn't. Then I found out the advantages of working on G object. First, it supports dynamic dynamic type registration. It's pretty as previously, I said, we need custom automata registration and G object. And G object seemed fit for requirements rather than other techniques uh, such as Lua language. Second, we can support other language bindings 
language binding after history with G object. G object can automatically generate glue code for other programming languages. Lastly, G object is portable to many platforms more than C++. Because the C, C, <laughs> C compilers is more, much more than C++. C++ is especially when it comes to small devices. And G object is written in C. Thus, we can thus we can easily produce the library for many kinds of target target devices, even for microcontrollers. <clears throat> so there, there was this there was my in, intro introduction for Han JP. Lastly, let me talk about the future of HanJP, and I think I believe HanJP can be the playground for Korean university students because HanJP isn't super complicated. I believe HanJP code would remain as understandable. Then, Continuously teaching the backgrounds to Linux, Korean Linux newcomers. I believe the Han JP project can produce more and more people who, who understand the GD and Linux IME. And, and it is good for Linux related communities. Then, Making good Japanese IME, believe HanJP can be the feature rich framework that useful to some other apps. And I believe it could be used in some industries. Yeah. That was my presentation, and thank you for listening.